The Satilla River is a vital part of southern Georgia, and it's under threat. The Satilla River is a blackwater river that winds through southeastern Georgia, stretching over 200 miles before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. The river and its surrounding landscape is cherished by locals for its outdoor recreation opportunities like hunting, fishing, and boating. The river flows through forests, swamps, and small towns, supporting not only recreation for people, but also habitat for wildlife like alligators, turtles, and bald eagles. Shannon Gregory serves as the Satilla River Keeper, bringing a diverse skill set and a deep curiosity for environmental science to the role. Though drawn to research, she considers herself a true jack-of-all-trades. Shannon is especially passionate about ecotoxicology and works to connect complex environmental issues together. Since joining the watershed, her commitment to protecting and understanding the ecosystem has only deepened. She monitors the health of the Satilla, examining species diversity and water quality, for example. A recent uproar about the development of 60 chicken houses along the banks of the Satilla River is prevalent in Coffee County, Georgia. Her passion speaks for itself. So this proposed chicken facility is going to house 60 chicken houses. Not six, not 16, six, zero. 60 chicken houses. The largest poultry farm that we've been able to find in the state of Georgia has 32 chicken houses. This facility is twice the size of anything that the state of Georgia has seen yet. And we're gonna put it right on the banks of the Satilla River? Are you kidding me? These permits have since then been expedited to speed up the process. And as a result of these chicken houses, the residents of the Satilla River have been directly put at risk of lower property values and increased level of traffic in the area and the bird flu. The residents of the Satilla River are less concerned about expanding the community's poultry industry and have a greater concern with the inevitable pollution that it will bring and the lack of transparency that they're getting about the farm. These chicken houses pose a great danger to the residents of the Satilla River. In September of 2024, Hurricane Helene ripped through the southeastern United States, including South Georgia and the Satilla River Basin. Nine months later, this part of our state is still suffering from the aftershocks of this disaster. In addition to the impact on the economy and infrastructure, the lives of thousands of people in communities across South Georgia continue to be affected. This graphic shows that much of the parcel where the chicken houses would be built is land that is labeled as a severe storm flood zone. If we zoom out, we can see that much of the surrounding area has a much lower risk of flooding, which begs the question, is this really the most appropriate place to be putting 3 million chickens and all of the waste that they produce? The proposed site covers at least 25 groundwater intakes. The groundwater surrounding the Satilla River Basin is a major source of drinking water, and these chicken houses are a clear risk to water quality in both the river itself and the water that community members drink. Drinking water aside, families swim, fish, and boat in the Satilla River. Contamination from fecal matter and harmful chemicals that run off from these chicken houses will be a constant threat, but will be particularly unavoidable when the next hurricane arrives. Science and community go hand in hand. By sharing your story like Shannon, we can continue to build and reinforce resilience networks across Georgia, see a problem, examine it, and call for change. From water to wildlife, fishing to baptisms, the Satilla is home to creatures of all life, and now it needs you.